first fans? We are here in what appears to be for most people the final week mm-hmm. of our 2021 regular season. Yes. Fantasy yes. football is just about over unless you're going to get into the playoffs. Yes. If you're sticking with us this long, you're probably either trying to get into the playoffs or you're in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So we've got a few waiver wire pickups for your teams trying to help you capitalize and finish and get that final playoff spot. Help you for the playoffs. Help you win. Help you finish first. That's right. So, Devin, who do you got on the waiver wire? My first guy is Amon Ra, St. Brown. Amon Ra. A huge game. A rookie. Uh, he's actually had a couple of really good games, but mm-hmm. this one was really, really big. Yep. Had 10 catches, a touchdown. It could be just game one winning week. touchdown. Yeah, yeah. It could be just one week. They were excited. Yeah. Detroit. <laughs> I was very upset. The one week I had Detroit <laughs> losing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, that was a joke. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be just one week, just like it was the other one. Mm-hmm. But it looks like Jared Goff is actually connecting with another wide receiver on the mm-hmm. team which could move the ball forward a little bit, move the offense. Yeah. Now they also have a win under their belt. Maybe right. the offense will look a little bit better. Uh, that's why I would choose Amon Ra. He could actually continue to get targets, maybe like seven, eight, nine per game. That could help you for your uh, playoffs. Yeah. Very great flex play. Yeah, I'm going to add on to that. I've got Josh Reynolds, who mm. is the opposite. I mean, mm. either one of those guys could could do pretty good or both uh, or both potentially yeah mm-hmm. uh the reason i kind of like um either of these guys is their playoff schedule is going to be arizona atlanta and seattle mm-hmm. which are all probably pretty decent plays yeah, yeah. so uh yeah i think that uh, either one of these guys could uh if you're looking for wide receiver help could uh, help you throughout the uh and now that they've got a win mm-hmm. they know what it feels like and maybe they want to do it again. Yeah. You know, happened to the Jets last year. <laughs> right, right. They could maybe they could reel off a couple wins here at the end and and uh, you know play a little better. Yeah, I don't know about against Arizona. They're well, yeah, team, not Arizona, but, but Atlanta yeah. and Seattle. I mean, oh, both yeah. those teams are they struggling. Could, they could beat either of those teams. Oh yeah, for sure. And this is the NFL. Weirder things have happened. They that could beat true. Arizona. <laughs> They did I mean, last year. You'd never predict that at all. Yeah. But this year has been weird. So Yeah, that is very true. You never know. Yes. All right. Who else you got? Who else do I got? I got Ronald Jones. Ah, back yeah. Up to That's uh, right. Nobody's thinking about him as a backup, but yet. No. Uh, well, I mean, at the beginning of the year, we didn't know if it was going to be Fournette or Ronald mm-hmm. Jones. That was before week one. Right. Um, I went down the Ronald Jones route because everyone else was. I kind of had more faith in Fournette because of his talent, but everyone was saying Ronald Jones. So I was like, all right, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Hmm. But Ronald Jones does have talent. He should be doing a little bit more than he has been, and he hasn't been. Yeah. And Fournette is really the lead back right now, and oh, Tampa yeah. Bay is winning. Yep. So they might actually start benching some players, and Fournette is probably the first one to be benched. Hmm. Or the first one to at least lose carries while Ronald yeah. Jones gets more. Yeah, it just depends. He, he could also, I mean, you never know, injury, he could get hurt. That is true. And if he does get hurt, then Ronald Jones is going to be that number one back in that really good offense, which is what you're looking for. So especially if you're a Fournette owner, it'd be a good idea to pick up Ronald Jones. Yeah, get that handcuff. Yep, yep. All right, I like it. Okay. Uh, I've got a running back for you. And that is Sony Michel. Mm-hmm. We just saw what he can do in this system, which was yes. really good. Yes. Some people picked him up. Some people didn't. If, uh, especially if you're a Henderson owner, you'll want to have him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we think Henderson is probably going to be back. So that might be another thing, too, if you are a Henderson owner. And if Sony Michel ends up getting dropped, if it looks like Henderson is going to be the clear starter again, then you can you know pick him up if somebody else drops him as well. Yeah, on top of that, there's a lot of people coming back from injury and then re-injuring themselves. Yes. So that is also another reason to have Sony Michelle as your handcuff. Yep. I like that. Yep. All right. You got one more? Uh, I actually got two more. Okay. I have AJ Green. Okay. Uh, Arizona is winning, just like uh, Ronald Jones. Yep. Arizona's winning right now, and they might actually start benching some of their starters. <laughs> uh, they are far ahead. If the Rams lose one more game and Arizona wins one more game, I think they clinch that division. In yeah. fact, just a couple more weeks, and I think they clinch the bye week. Hmm. So 
if that's the case, then they might actually start benching a couple of their players. And I think that might start with DeAndre Hopkins, Mr. Apparently Unhealthy. Yeah. So if that's the case, then I like A.J. Green. On top okay. of that, even with Hopkins in, A.J. Green is still getting more targets than Hopkins. Yeah. So I, I, I still like him. Okay. All right. A.J. Green for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got a tight end for you if you need one, and that's Tyler Conklin. Uh, Adam Thielen, as most of you guys probably already know, went out. He's got the high ankle sprain. Those typically linger four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's not as bad as what it could be, then maybe he'll come back in a couple weeks. But uh, he's going to be at least probably a week or two, likely four or so. could be more. could be the rest of the season. Especially if they don't have anything to play for. I mean, why risk him getting injured even further? Yeah. If that's the case... Uh, I think Tyler Conklin moves into probably that number two tight end receiver on the team behind Mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson. Uh, He had nine targets this past week, seven for 56. He's an end zone threat, and uh, I just think it could be a pretty good pickup. Yeah, I like that, especially people who are a little struggling to get that tight end. Yeah, tight end's always tough. Even people who have Zach Ertz (laughs) didn't get much attention this week, and I don't really know if he will. Uh, going forward. So might want to look at Tyra Conklin. Yep. All right. My last guy. Okay. I got Russell Gage. Oh, yeah, Russell Gage. Uh, only 25% of people own him right now. Two we- I'm sorry, three weeks ago, he had eight targets, then seven targets, now 12 targets. Yeah. He is getting involved. He's getting fed at the end of the season here. The Atlanta offense Finally. with, <laughs> with Cordell Patterson is looking better. Uh, they have Kyle Pitts. They mm-hmm. have Cordell Patterson. And now they have Russell Gage. Yep. I think Russell Gage is going to be that main target on the team. Their offense looks like it's going to get better. I mean, it just adds up. I would definitely have Russell Gage on my team. Yeah. Just like uh, with Amon Ra earlier, it's a great flex play, if yeah. anything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Number three wide receiver, flex play. Yeah. I mean, with people getting hurt and injured and bye weeks, thankfully, I think are going to be over after next week. Yes. I think one more week, 14. And yeah, the last one. Yeah, and then you go to the playoffs. So with some bye weeks still left, I mean, we're, some of us are still looking for wide receiver ads because you've mm-hmm. got somebody on bye, and, you know, we're trying to give you some players to pick up and, and get you into that last final push. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we appreciate you guys watching. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments down below. You can still put that towards getting a free Travis Kelsey collector card. All the details are down below, but it's pretty easy. All you have to do is like, subscribe, comment. Comment. Comment down below on (laughs) who you would play for uh, or who you would pick up for a waiver wire. Yeah. And do you like any of our people? Yeah. You like any of these guys? Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it. Close us out. Always remember to finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws to Pete Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.